Hello, and welcome back to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take any template that you've Googled from um, the internet and personalize it. Set it up so that you'll make it into a template that you can use it over and over again. So let's get started. First of all, you'll need, because of the score lines, you'll need to cover those up so that you can cut out the different sections in order to personalize them. These should be pretty easy. All you would do is, is make a cutout by going to Cutout in Picture, add a colored shape. It's already a square. And all you're going to do is bring it up and cover up all of the score lines. Just go right on top of the score lines on each one of the rectangular areas or the square areas. Change it to another color because when you're pulling them out, you don't want it to pull out the black uh, outline. I'll zoom in a little bit uh, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And now I'm going to just go and make another cutout, make it red. Add it to the shape, covering up, just barely covering up the score lines. You don't want it to go any further over because these are going to be also your fold lines. And then for this centerpiece, I think I moved this one a little bit. Go back up a tad here. All right, and now I'm going to make another rectangle in a different color. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go between the two red squares, cover up the score line, make sure I'm not showing any white on either side and fit that right in between those just like that making sure to cover the score line let's drag it down a little bit and I'm going to do that same thing again I'm going to copy it right here by going right next to the scissors and then clipping on the clipboard to paste it and then I'll move this one over there so just like that you've made a template for the pizza box this is the miniature pizza box so now I have my template for the miniature pizza box and if I want to change the edges out I'm going to go to cut out and pictures cut out of picture by color selection now I can draw these edges out if I had left it like this one I'll show you with the score lines when you click to draw the white it will draw out the entire box but I don't want it to do that since I want it just to, to separate separate out all the parts I blocked the areas where the score lines were and now I can go in and pull these sides out separately I'll pull out all the sides these flaps are what's going to connect it together to make the box so these are the only areas that you will need on the pizza box I'm going to take the check mark out of there so it'll stay on this page and now I think I need to pull this down just a little bit and you have your template outline already for the pizza box this one is a little more complicated but still very easy all I'm going to do is go into cutout and picture add a colored shape I'm gonna make it a circle I'll make it yellow as well and then I'm just going to fit this yellow circle into this area by resizing it and flattening it out on the sides a bit and you're just going to keep adjusting by pulling on the different ends until you have filled in the entire area in the which is the bottom portion because what we're trying to do is we're trying to single out these sides so that we can decorate them 
Now for this, all I'm going to do is take, for this uh, score line, I'm just going to make another box. I'll make it red like I did on the other one. And I'm just, once again, changing that color from black or blue so that it can easily uh, be distinguished between when I'm trying to crop out just the white from the from the background all right so I'm just twisting this a little bit by pulling on this rotate knob right at the top so that I could line it up with this line and then I'm going to bring it down now it doesn't matter that it's covering up um, this side I can just pull this up some so that that side is available because I don't want to cover in this because I'm going to cut this part out too so now I'm just going to make another one of these by copying and pasting. Actually, I can make three of them so that I can put them on all these sides. I'm going to bring them up once again like I did before. Line this up so that it's straight. Bring it up to the line. And I just want to barely cover that line oops let me do the undo arrow I'm just trying to move this down some so that I won't lose these corners so I'm just gonna pull that down so that it's just covering up the area that I want the score lines I'm going to get the next one, line it up with the score line, and just drop it right down over that score line so it's covering it up. And get the last one. And this is how you would do it for each one of these templates. Just cover the score lines. You can put the score lines back in once you get into, um, if you're going to use Cricut or Silhouette to cut them, you could put your score lines back in. For right now, we just want to single out these areas so that we can make our template. So now I'm ready to pull out these areas. I'm going to go once again to cut out in picture, cut out of picture. I'm going to go to my color selection and I'm just going to click this area, hit next and done. And I'm doing these separate so if I decide I want to use a design on this side but different from this side, then I can uh, decorate them separately. If I want to do them all in the same print, then I can put them together and, and decorate them at the same time. So now I'm going to go once again to cut out and picture cut out of picture by color selection click on this side hit next and done and now I can delete these red boxes because I don't want them covering anymore and now I can just cut out this whole area by going to cut out of picture cut out of picture by color selection and now it doesn't matter if I get the whole thing because I already have these sections cut out so I'm going to click done and then I'm just going to drag my two sections that I cut out above, above the side section. I'm going to change this so you'll see the, the differences. So I'll make, this, I'll make this green just to show the different areas. And then I'm just going to pull up my top and back so that you can see all the areas that you can change and decorate however you want. For the pizza box, I'm going to use the diamond from Cutout and Picture, add a colored shape, and I'm going to use either the diamond or I can use this. Uh, I have two different diamond shapes in here. I have the actual diamond or the, the one that is in the shape of the four cornered diamond shape they also call call it so now I'm going to shrink this down because I want just the portion that is the uh, 
I only want the portion of the diamond that's right down the pointed portion. So I'm going to go to cut out and picture with the cookie cutter shape. And I'm going to shrink this down so I'm just getting this bottom portion. Just like that. Going to hit next and done. And I think I had some white around that. I guess I didn't. That's good. Okay, so I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to put it once again over the score line. And I'm just going to pull this down until it fills in the triangulated area. Adjust it as needed so that I'm getting covering up the I move it a little bit so that I'm covering up the score lines and all I'm doing is pulling at each side until I have the score lines covered okay and even though the score lines aren't completely covered in this one I could pull this down a little bit and it'll pull in a little more so now I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to copy that triangle it's already chosen so I'm going to hit copy and paste and then I'm going to rotate this by going to size and position, rotate, and I'm just doing a half turn, clicking on the half turn. And now I'm going to size this one so that it's just like the other one, covering up just all the way to the line, just like that. Okay, and you already know how to do these. You do the same thing. I have one of these already prepared that I that I um, pre-cut and I'm going to switch to that one so we can start making our master. So now I have all the pieces separated out. These are, it, it doesn't matter that they're uh, all these weird colors because we're going to be changing all these anyway. This is just so that you see the areas that you have available to change. So before we go into changing and adding backgrounds in our graphics, I'm going to add the text boxes. So click on text, add text box. You can choose whatever font you want. I'm just going to go with Arial Black for now, and I'll just make it black. Or you, you know, if you wanted to choose a fancy, you could use any font you want. And even if you're starting off with one font, you can still, of course, go in and change it when you are designing your um, your different boxes. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit done. And so for this box, I know these sides are what's going to be showing the part that is pink. I mean, sorry, the part that is blue. <laughs> so you can uh, for for the sides. Um, the text to be in the right direction it's going to have to flip so I can either twist this around on my own by pulling on this ball or I can go to size first I'm going to make uh, four copies of this because I need one to go around each of these areas actually you can make 16 copies because you'll need one for well not quite 16 because for these it's only two but um, I'll make eight copies for these two and then uh, four copies for those so I need 12 so I got one and I'm just going to hit copy to copy the text and then I'm going to hit it 12 times to, to uh, 11 times so that I'll have enough to go around so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so I made my text boxes so I'll have a text box for for all of these areas so I'm just going to take these two I'm going to take four of them because for these boxes, I'm going to need, well, actually for the, this one, I, don't, I really don't need them. So I'll just erase the extras. But for this one, I'm going to, use, I don't need all those text boxes. But for this one, I need two. So I'm going to take two text boxes. This one will go here. And it actually needs to be that size. So I'm just going to go ahead and put four over here so I can resize them all at the same time. I'm going to move them over.
over a little bit so I'm not grabbing any of my colors. So I'm just going to group these but I'm not going to close it out and I'm going to resize them so that they're small enough to go on the sides with the message. And all I have to do is line one of them up and all the rest of them will be perfect. Alright, so now I'll take the first one and put it here. And this is how you're going to set up your template. This will be the one, I'm just going to go ahead and turn these just uh, for speed's sake. Put that one here. This one will turn in the opposite direction from the one at the top. And the same goes for this one. It will be the opposite direction as that one. Alright, so now for this one. This one I'm going to make it into, this is a shoebox pattern. And I'm going to make it into a shoebox. Let me pull my little circles up because I still want those on top so I'm gonna just pull them up from the bottom and drag them to the top because this this these are the sides it's a little it's gonna be a hole but I'm just have it pink now so you can see um, the different portions of the template so here I already have text prepared for here but um, if you wanted some text on the side you do the same thing just shrink it down I could have shrunk them together but I didn't so I'll just put it up to next to it and do it eyeball it and then this one will be here move it over a little bit all right and for this one your font will be along these sides so I'll resize two of these together for the long sides think that might work. Let's see. If it's a little long, I'll just adjust them individually. I had an extra one. I'll move that out of the way. Actually, I can still resize them together just hold this one's already chosen so I'm gonna click on this text box and I'm not gonna lock them I didn't ch close my puzzle piece and I'm just gonna resize either one and it'll resize them both just like that and now I'll position them better And then last but not least, this side. And I'll just do this one totally separately. And if you're not sure you turn them in the right direction, do a test print in black and white. The last box is the french fry box. This is the, of course, pizza slice box. You can also get them where they're thicker here for cake slices. And this one is going to be... I'll go ahead and keep all of these uh, text boxes. I might put one here. I'll make it small for now. And then these can go down the side. And it depends on which of these sides you want showing. I think probably on, on this shorter one because um, when I made mine, I, I usually have this overlapping this so it has a neater look from the front. So that's the way I'll set these two text boxes up to fit on the shorter flap. That looks about right. And these, you really don't even have to have any text on these. It doesn't... Um, 
it could just be the pattern but just in case you wanted to add a text then we'll do it this way and I'll turn this one the opposite direction put it in there try to even it up a little bit all right so and you can also have a text text box back here I'll make one more just to um, in case you want something on the back so now you completely have your template set up at this point I would save it which I'm going to save this I think I already have it saved yeah as easy template so I'm just going to hit my now that I've added all the text boxes I'm going to hit the um, save and it will save this as my template and now you can either work from here and if you want to start your designing or you could just group a box if you don't want to make all of them group it you group up everything go ahead and close the puzzle piece you open a new page you click on your page that you want to drag the box from there's a little window here that you're not seeing a pop-up menu but you will see it when you click when you uh, click on the picture in your tray and then I'm just gonna click on the french fry box drag it and drop it alright so I'm gonna center this in my page so and this will make this will make a pretty nice size box I use these um, for my Christmas party as s'mores kit I put the marshmallows and everything in separate little plastic bags and then made this into a s'mores kit so I think I would do the same with it and I'm going to do the frozen theme on this one so I'm going to make this into an Elsa themed s'mores kit so I'm just going to click on the part that I want to change and I already have the pictures open at the bottom that I want to use I'm going to go to cut out in picture fill cut out a picture click on the picture and then I'm going to drag Elsa up I'm going to pull her down so that her face is showing drag this down as far as I can and then uh, I'm going to hit done I'm going to click on the text, move it up a bit, change it to white by right clicking and choosing edit. I'm going to change it to white and I'm going to say, um, uh, I'll say Macy's, Macy's S'mores Kit or just Macy's S'mores. Oops capital S S apostrophe so Macy s'mores I can go to apply a special effects effect and bend the text either up or down maybe I'll go up and then just to fit it to this curve I'm going to click on the bit the up arrow to move it in the opposite direction until it lines up with the top of that curve I'll do a little more all right click done and done just position it up positioning it a little better and now I'm going to add a s'more where this little snowflake is to show that it's a s'mores kit so I had already found this s'more stack on the internet and I'm just going to shrink it down and have it floating above Elsa's hand like she's presenting a s'more all right for this side I'm just going to put the frozen theme so I, I actually don't need the the text for this one so I'm not going to delete it I'm just going to hide it on my page so I'm going to grab it from the uh, right column and just drag it all the way to the back and then if I need it again in the next order then I'll just bring it back so I'm just going to make this the frozen theme go to cut out in picture fill cut out a picture with picture click on the picture 
and I'm going to bring up this frozen area and just resize it so that I just have the icicle look on the back of that. All right, and now for the sides, I can either add um, Macy's birthday or any other writing you want there, but I think I'm just going to leave these, uh, well, no, I guess I'll change it and say Macy's, Macy's, I think she's going to be five, my little niece, so I'm just going to edit that and say Macy's fifth. And these are wide enough where I could actually move it up some and put birthday under there. So I'm just going to copy this text box, hit the copy and the paste, and then write birthday by right clicking edit text and typing birthday. And I'll do the same thing on this side. Click on it, then right click on it then type your wording move it up some duplicate it and then write birthday oh I forgot to put fifth on this side let me add that Macy's fifth and then change this to birthday all right let's go do the next one so I'm going to click switch to now let you know how to transfer it to the new page I'm going to just go ahead and decorate these right here so for this pizza box I'm just going to make it look like a slice of pizza so I have this piece of pizza available and I'm just going to I need to first turn it in the right direction so that it will be the same as when I put it the same direction when I put it here so I'm gonna this is the top of the box so I'm gonna click that go to cut out in picture fill cut out with a picture click on picture and then I'm just gonna drag that pizza to that spot and I'm just gonna resize it so that it's filling in the entire top of the box making sure that the crust is showing it done and now I can change these sides to a color that complements the pizza I'll just make them red that'll work or I can make them the red of the pepperoni and then if you wanted to add some graphics to that you could uh, let's see what, what what do I want to put on there uh, you can you can make it a Fortnite. so I just want the Fortnite sign so I'm gonna zoom it out to the whole page I'm gonna go to cut and picture by color selection I'm gonna take this all the way down to zero and just get all the white area hit next select opposite area done now I'm going to get rid of the outer outer portion and now I just have the graphic by itself and I'll shrink that down turn it around and just fit it right on top of there I can also add a name to this I'll make it my nephew's name so I'm just gonna copy this text and type Javix get done I could change that to green if I want but the black might show up better and I'm just going to twist it around in the direction I need it to go 
put it there and to make it show up more I can do a text box take it back up and choose a square and I'll make it green and then I'll lighten it up so that it can help Javik's name to show up better I'm going to drag it down one layer so that it's underneath it resize it and then I can either leave it solid like that or I can click on it move in a little more or I can click on it and click on just the background and go to uh, special effects make transparent and just make it somewhat transparent where you could still see the pizza a little bit under the green and that actually made it show up even better and then I can do the same on on the text boxes like I did previously Javix 11th I can add birthday to that but on this one I'm just gonna leave it as Javix 11th Alright, so now we have two down and three down actually. Oh no, that's just two. I haven't done my pizza boxes. So for these, for this one, I can, uh, I'll just make that one Fortnite too since I have more Fortnite stuff open. So for the top of the pizza box, I'm going to use this Fortnite background. So I'm going to first switch it so that it's turned sideways like the pizza box is facing the top here so I'm just gonna go to I'm not gonna click it you don't want to click it you want to click outside because you want the whole page to turn at one time or or actually I could just do it the easy way but I'm just gonna go to cut out and um, size and position rotate and I'm just gonna rotate it sideways just like that click done now I'm gonna go back to my boxes I'm going to bring up my top for my pizza box by clicking on it going to cut out and picture fill cut out our picture you will use these so much till it will be like second nature like it is for me so that's the Fortnite background I can copy and bring up this Fortnite decal again so I can put it on this box bring it over Put it up in this top corner and then I'll bring up some of these characters that that I have once again I'm going to pull out the background so I'm just going to pull it over the whole page so that I'm not showing anything behind it and I'm going to go to cut out and picture cut out of picture by color selection and once again I'm going to take this all the way down to zero and I'm going to pull out all of the white area that's in between the two characters and inside of their arms all the areas that nothing should be showing and I'm going to hit next I'm going to choose select opposite area so I can keep the characters hit done then I'm going to delete the original and shrink this down to put on my pizza box zoom in a little turn my characters around I'll move this down a little bit so I can put Javik over it again let these guys kind of cover it up a little bit and I think I'll add one more character so I'll drag him up from the bottom turn him around make him appear that he's the same size as they are I'll bring up Javik 
and the little green box again by grouping them, copying, and pasting. Drag it up, turn it around. Now for the sides, I'll just change them to a solid green by clicking it. Go into special effects, not special effects, go into paint and color effects, change it to a solid color, and I'll just change it to that military green. Change this to Javix 11. And I'll just do that on each of the sides. Okay, and now I'm going to just choose all the writing, click on the first one, hit control, then click on the other three, and I'm going to change their color all at the same time. I'm going to go to paint and color effect, and I'm just going to choose the gold, the darker gold. I want it darker, so I'm just going to do it on my own. Okay, that works. And you could put a shadow around the, the writing if you want so that it stands out a little while you still have all four of them chosen. Go to Special Effects Shadow and I'll do a drop down shadow. And it will do the drop down shadow all at the same time. Hit Done. Close them out. And then once again go back in and add another shadow to make it darker. Alright, so now we have three three down and the last one to go. We're going to decorate this one as a Nike box. So I already went in and I downloaded the Nike symbol and you can either choose the Nike font or for this I just chose Arial Black because it's a thick font and just put this on top of the symbol that said Nike so that I could line my letters up correctly and I made this symbol so we're going to go back to the page that has multiple um, boxes on it and I'm just going to bring up my Nike symbol from the bottom and since the Nike boxes are usually solid color with the white Nike, I'm going to just make all of these black. So I can choose all these sides at the same time and make them all black. I'm leaving the flaps white so that it'll be easy to, to fold. Then I'm going to change this to white. This is the top so I can also put it on all the sides. So I'm just going to copy the Nike Jake and the Nike symbol and I'll paste it four times. Since it's white it's not showing up but it will once I put it on. I'm going to resize two of them together. I forgot where I saved them. There they are. I'm going to size these two together. So I have one chosen. I'm going to click on the other one and then I'm just going to resize them together for the side. I'm 
I'm going to move this one up here. And this one is actually in the right direction it needs to be. This one needs to turn around the opposite direction. Move it up a little. Actually, these can shrink down a little more. Oops, got the wrong part again. The good thing is when you make mistakes, if you just quickly go back up and hit the back arrow and it will take you right back one step so that you can make your correction. And I'm going to shrink them down a little bit more. There we go. I'll center it. Kind of line those up. And then for the other two, do I have both of them? Yes, I do. I'll drag them over and they're going to be really small because they're going to be going underneath our little uh, cutouts here. And zoom in a little bit so I can grab it. Take it to this side. And yeah, this one will be going up like that. I don't know whether it goes above or beneath, but uh, you can check the actual Nike box. I don't even know if they have Nike on the side, but this is how. There I go again. Make sure that you have the area that you really want to move. And then just position it in the middle. And you have, I'll go ahead and bring my frozen box up to put over that one. So I'm just going to drag it up from the bottom so you can see all of them finished on one page. Turn it around and just use it to cover up this one. And now you know how to use the templates from Google to make and personalize. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you want to know about my videos. The minute I have them uploaded, just hit the bell and you'll be notified immediately each time I upload new material. Once again, thank you for stopping by Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. I'll see you next time.